Okay, this is example number two, number three, in unsymmetrical fault, and the question is, I posted here is consider the following system, and they want us to find the pair unit A, B, C fault currents for line to line to ground. So this is line to line to ground fault at bus number two, which is this bus. So the fault is right here assume a brief fault voltage is one per unit so first we need to find the positive uh, sequence network the reactance diagram so this, let's take a look at this one so we have Generator number one, here is EG1, and then its uh, uh, reactance is uh, J point point six. And then the transformer reactance is J point two. Then the transmission line is point one. Then we have bus number two. Transmission line is J point one. Then the transformer is J point five. Generator number two reactance is J.25, and then the voltage source EG2. From two, we have the generator reactance J.15. This is the transformer, then the, the generator reactance 0.25, and then the voltage EG3. This is the positive sequence. The negative sequence, as we know, is have this one having the same. The negative sequence is the same, just we don't have the voltage source. So this is for the negative reactance. For the zero sequence. First, the generator is solidly grounded, so I will have solidly grounded wire, the generator reactance, which is J.15, then the transformer is delta to solid grounded Y. So we will have it connected like that, and J.2, then the transmission line, which is J.2, uh, then, so this is the bus number 2, bus number 3, then we have the transformer, which is J.15, solidly grounded Y, and then the, the generator reactance is also grounded from here, so it's point 0.1. So this is the zero sequence network, but yeah, the third thing here is to take a wire from bus number two this generator is solidly grounded in both sides so it's connected to the generator and the generator having a neutral of 0 0.05 we multiplied it by three 
so here we have the generator which is point 0.15 the transformer point 0.15 then the generator is point 0.125 and finally we have the grounded y uh, impedance which is 0.15 so we multiply this by 3 and add it in series with the generator reactance so this is the zero sequence network now we have been asked to find the fault ABC fault current at bus number two so to find the ABC fault current we need to find 0, 1, 2 symmetrical fault current uh, at bus number 2 so for uh, line to line to ground fault I0 is equal to So before we go to find I0, we need to find Z0 Thevenin, which is equal to, so Z0 Thevenin is, so this is the fault, faulted bus, so we have the point 2, in parallel with this one in series parallel to this one so we have J.2 parallel to 0.3 plus 0.15 is 0.45 and this is 0.425 so point 4.25 and here is point 0.45 and this is I think I missed here the transmission line which is actually here should, should be here J.1 so it's gonna be point 0.1 it's 0.3 so it's gonna be 0.5 so the reactance of the transformer in series with the reactance of the transmission line so it's 0.5 so we will have 0.5 parallel with 0.45 parallel with 0.425 So it will give me J.152 and Z Thevenin on the positive sequence network it's going to be those which are 0.9 parallel with those which is J.4 parallel with those J.5 This is 1.5 so 0 0.1, 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 is 0 0.5 so J.5 parallel with J.9 parallel with J.4 and this will give me 0 0.178 and it's exactly as the Thevenin equivalent of the negative sequence uh, reactants. So now the I1 is equal to Vf 
which is 1 per unit divided by Z7 and 1 which is 178 plus J.178 multiplied by J.152 and J.178 plus J.152 and this will give me minus J 3.8463 per unit and if you want to find to know how I did uh, substitute those numbers please go to lecture number two in symmetrical uh, unsymmetrical for lecture number number one in unsymmetrical fault which is uh, named in the YouTube lecture number seven so go to lecture number seven to see the equations now for for I2 it's gonna be J.152 which is Z0 over J.178 which is J1 uh, Z1 plus J.152 multiplied by I1 which is J three point eight four six three. It's multiplied minus J uh, I one, so it's J three point eight four six three, and I will get J one point seven seven one six per unit. Then finally I zero. It will equal to negative j uh, i1 which is j 3.8463 multiplied by z 7 and of 2 over g 7 and 2 plus uh, z 0 7 and so i will get j 2. Point 0747 per unit. Now I A B C at bus number 2 it's gonna be A times I0 I1 I2 so I will get something like 0 5.776 angle 147.7 and here it's 5 point seven seven six angle thirty two point six degrees so it's line B and C which came in contact with the the ground so this is the fault at bus number two thank you for watching and Next episode, I will talk about uh, coordination between the relays and the circuit breakers in the power system.